Well, hi. Thanks for joining me for another checkout on a radio, and this is a Grundig. A Grundig 2540. I can see it through the dirt here. It's a filthy, filthy radio. This has been sitting on the floor in somebody's garage or something like that. It's, uh, it's filthy. But, let's see. It seems to be in pretty good, like, it seems to be intact. It's got the bezel all the way around. The uh, grill cloth looks okay. It seems to have fallen back here. There's a big gap in here. It looks like it's dropped back or something like that. Kind of strange. It's got its knobs. It's got all the buttons. That's really good. And the cabinet, other than being filthy, let's see, this is not quite fitting here right. It's as if it's shrunk. Same thing on the other end. Hmm. But at least it hasn't been ripped out of there. So let's I'll give you a little closer look here at it. Really. Sometimes the camera just doesn't do justice to the uh, dirt and crap that's on these things. There, that's a little better. It's kind of a lighting issue. And there, now you really get a good look at <laughs> how dirty this thing is. Yeah. The bottom top's all covered with dust. Big blob of water from me bringing it in from my car because it's raining outside. Right now, let's look at the back of this radio. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's a uh, crack in the front here. Right in here. Well, I'm not sure what's happened here, but the, uh, there's a, some kind of crack right through there. Doesn't look like anything too terrible. Now, what's been going on in the back? Uh oh, there's no back cover. That means this thing's been an open invitation to anything that wants to go in here. In particular, dirt. So, speakers there. Uh, oh, it's got some electrostatic speakers up here. They're kind of neat. Put a little light on it here. Let's let's go with the uh, close-up camera on this. We'll just start in one corner and work our way across here. So, starting down here. Just getting my focal range right here. So there's the antenna. Plug, somehow it survived. Hanging out the back here. It's the uh, antenna, fixed in place antenna. They have some very fine wires, but they all seem to be intact. That's that's pretty good. Okay, lots and lots of dirt in here. Spider webs. Looks like it's got its tubes. The fuse appears to be intact. This tube's got a shield on it. Piles of junk and dirt and filth up in there. Ugh. And uh, there's the uh, magic eye tube. This looks like the light bulb holders here. And there's the, uh, what is pretty sure to be the FM tube, the FM tuning tube. There's the tuning capacitor. It's kind of in a position to collect a lot of junk in there. Now 
There's the name of the radio right there. Uh, Grundig. Looks like a big serial number on it. Has a lot of optional openings here that have nothing in them. Now that looks like a speaker, external speaker, and this looks like a, you know, a tape recorder input, something like that. We have the. Uh, uh, see? Not like that. Like that. There! Fixed it. <laughs> now it's all good. The string, I hate to look. Yes, the string is there. Seems to be intact. So everything looks basically okay in the back here. Look at that. 2.7 ohm resistor. Or, uh, speaker. You probably can't read it on camera, but that's what it says. 2.7 ohms. Wouldn't have expected that. Okay, so let's, uh... Let's turn some knobs on the front here and see what happens. Without it being plugged in, of course. Okay. Um, oh, I should have looked at something else. Some of these radios have a gearing mechanism. This one uh, doesn't look like it has anything like that. It has a gear mechanism in the uh, tuning, so when you select FM, it moves a separate FM pointer, and when you select AM or short wave, it moves another pointer. This looks like this looks like I can't see anything here. That's what it looks like. So there's the yeah, it's one pointer all the way through. Yeah, and it's moving. so dirty you can't see it on the uh, camera. It's right, I can hardly see it, it's right here. Can't see it at all, but it's turning, feels good. Turn the whole distance. Nice! Okay, and the volume. Feels perfectly fine. Bass and treble in the background, feels perfectly fine. Very good. It's probably in the off position right now. Try AM. Short wave. Uh oh, what went the FM? FM went with it. <laughs> These buttons haven't been pushed down for a while. There we go. Short wave, FM. And this is, I think, cuts in the uh, tape recorder or something like that. are a little sticky of course just even just the dirt in here is enough to cause some button sticking well let's see the potential of this radio is pretty good you clean this guy up we might be just stunned by how nice it looks because it appears to have very minimal damage to it um, so wherever it's been sitting it uh, it hasn't suffered that much other than a crap load of dust falling onto it. So, I think we should try turning this guy on. As is. Let's see. I doubt it's been on for a long time. But you know, that just, uh, that just adds to the excitement. Cord here that'll fit on it. Yep. Okay. Now I'm not too scared to plug something like this in because I have the light bulb uh, restricting the power that can reach the radio. So if there is a short in the power supply or a short in the power uh, transformer, all that happens is that light comes on really bright, this light here, and I know instantly that something is seriously wrong with it. And nothing will blow up. Uh, just taking one last look, making sure there isn't anything stupid going on here.
Well, looks okay. So I'll make sure it's switched off. Okay, it's off. Fly power, keep my eye on that light bulb. Nothing happened, that's good. Because it's switched off. Okay, we'll turn off the power, we'll push it to AM. AM radio, make sure the volume is turned down. This way here. That's down for sure. Okay, we'll apply power. Keep your eye on the light bulb. The light bulb tells all. Maybe turn that off. Here we go. Lights came on the front panel. Light bulb barely coming on. Perfect. Perfect, perfect behavior. Lighting up. That's the uh, audio output tube. The uh, tube for... Uh, that's really, really bright. This is the tube that's... Huh. It's a little bit too bright, maybe. What do you think of that? Um, looking at these things on camera is very misleading. That's the output tube, but up in there, that's the tube, uh, the Magic Eye type tube, and it's it's glowing pretty bright. Like uh, the heater's glowing pretty bright. Lights look good. I don't see anything going on in these tubes. Don't hear anything. So this one's lit up. Man, really, just a little bit of light in my shop. There you are. Now you can see clearly that tube's lit up. Okay, this one. This one's lit up. It's a funny color inside these tubes. Um, on camera, it turns kind of a bluish, pinkish color, but it's just a normal red in my eye. Now the FM tube, we really can't see what's happening with that. Of course, there's the output tube and this is probably the preamp tube right here and it's got that metal thing on it and uh, I think I can see the heater inside there yep yeah, yep yeah. so okay every tubes heating <laughs> give me some light here whoops So we got every tube heating. Don't hear a thing out of the set though. Let's turn it up a bit. Not a sound. Not a sound. Okay, let's try uh, pushing some buttons on the front here. See if we can get any kind of crackle or pop or anything to come out of the speaker. So, volume up a little bit. Nothing whatsoever is coming out of the uh, speaker. So, that could be any one of quite a long series of problems. Now, sometimes there's a high voltage fuse in these, uh, this style of radio. I don't see one in here. It could be just out of sight somewhere. So, I think uh, that kind of tells the whole story. Let's just make sure that when I tune it, the capacitor moves. Oh yeah. Very nice, in fact. Well, we can probably troubleshoot this thing and find out what's going on with it. And, uh, and repair it, quite likely. It seems to be really in fairly good condition. Uh, just not working. <laughs> so. Oh, I'm sorry. Like just staring in the dark there. Hope that wasn't. Ah, jeepers. I must have bumped. You know, sometimes I think I bumped the mouse with my hand and it triggers it. And I don't realize that that's happened. Yeah, I don't think there's too much more we can do with this guy. Uh, right now. So there we are.
the Grundig. It would be kind of fun to make this guy look a lot more presentable. The Grundig 2540 radio. Thanks for watching it.